I'm Steph. I'm Michael. Today is Feld Day! We're Ooh. playing all the Feld games. And I'm wearing my burgundy screen. sleeves. And by all the Feld games, I mean like three. Because he's got a lot of games. It is a and lot. And Michael of needs to learn a lot of Feld's games, is what I'm learning throughout this night. Because he has not played a number of them. It's not um, that I don't like them. I no, I know. Like you them. do like them. You just haven't played them. So you just haven't played them. You're, you're going to love Trajan. I just... I, I, I know I it. I know things. And love he's going to love Trajan. So hopefully you're we'll pretty get good that. at guessing whether I'm gonna love a game or hate a game. You're like, all right, this is on my sort of want to keep shelf, but not this one, but whatever game it is. She's like, yeah, this game is on my want maybe want to keep shelf, but I think you'll like this. And she puts it in front of me, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I sort of like this. You're gonna say, oh, this game, I think you're gonna I think you're gonna think it sucks. Yep, that sucks. So <laughs> she's pretty good at that. Well, because I know what you like and what you don't like, and you generally like interesting dice mechanics. I do like interesting dice mechanics. That's why I think you're going to love Orville Delphi. Probably. I don't even like race games generally, and you know that, right? I know that. You don't like but, races? Race games? But Delphi... Games with zombies, games with hospitals, games with spiders, <laughs> games with zombie hospital spiders. Yeah. Um, and races. And race And pick up and deliver. And pick up and, and deliver control. and area control. <laughs> Let me get to it. I'm going to tell them. I know exactly what you... So... <laughs> However, I, I'm not a big fan of abstracts, and you're not a big fan of everything else. Um, that's pretty much it, and that's the end of our stream today. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but so Delphi breaks those rules. I mean, it's a race. It is the player who gets to the finish line wins the game, and I love it. And that's different. <laughs> Zombie spider really hospital like. race game. <laughs> yeah, basically that. All that. I don't want to play them. But anyway, we'll we'll get to more fell games eventually on the stream. Right now, we're gonna take a look at uh, this little dice game, the Castles of Burgundy dice game, which I haven't played it since it came out. What in twenty seventeen? I think twenty eighteen. When did this come out? Well, it's, you have the box. Twenty seventeen. I was correct. It plays one to five, but we're gonna play with everybody in the chat who wants to play. So if you're out there and want to play along, or if you're just watching this. We're going to teach the game and play it so you can play along with us. Uh, just print out the A sheet. Duchy A, is that what they called it? Yes. Okay. I know the box is on my head. <laughs> You're not fooling You're the me. giant behind the castle. <laughs> oh, it says you need one out of ten brain power. Uh, that's me. <laughs> Uh, it says ages 10 and up, 1 to 5 players. Oh, that's, that's also me. 15 to I'm 30 12. minutes, but I don't... My first <coughs> game took like a million years. I don't know why it took so long. Oh, and Delphi has Pick Up and Deliver. It's a race and, and Pick Up and Deliver. It's all, all of that. It's like, so it breaks so many of my rules. It so, doesn't yeah. make any sense. <laughs> but yeah. you love it. That's true. That's why we like Feld. So we're glad that everyone contributed Steph's awesome channel points for this Feld game night. Yes, I love Feld. Love so, his games. Anyway, if you do not have this printed out, you probably need to print it out. And I'll put that up there for all of the people out there in YouTube land. I don't think any of the... Uh, let's see. Can the, you see green? You can't see green out So well. here's green. Or... or Because, yeah, these are yellow. These are green. Green, one, oh. two, three, four. But Those you, are you also four you greens. can't see the cows at all. You can't see what, what cows... The cows, the, the, the farmlands. What? the? You mean these farmlands? Yeah. You can't see those? I mean, yeah, but they're green. They're yellow. In, in they're real, yellowish. In real, in real life. No, they're yellow. They're yellow green. They're, they're totally yellow. They're yellow green. Whatever. Uh, yeah, find it on BGG. It's um, it's like super simple. Um, Time Roller had posted a link. He just did right now. He just did. Um, and it looks identical to ours, at least as far as we can tell. Uh, supposedly there's an error on some, but we couldn't find it. So anyway, um, each player is going to try to fill in their duchy as quickly as possible, marking your fields with a, with whatever pit values and colors are rolled. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the sheet. I'm going to put it over here. So, <laughs> I mean, it... It's it there it is that way. It's so I can explain this stuff and you can like see me talking. <laughs> There's Steph. 
All right, so um, up in the top left corner, um, you're going to circle the bonuses that you're granted for completing um, a purple area or gray area for uh, purple areas for monks, gray areas for silver, blue for commodities, orange for workers, and green is for uh, various. Those those are for the uh, for the castles. Um, this also shows you the die results that are needed to fill a hex of a particular color. Um, what, down here? Is that what they're saying? No. That, that, oh, no, those are victory points. Yeah, those, those are if you get the whole region. If you, if you get all of the mines completed, you get the bonus of three points. Oh, okay. No, I'm talking about this. There's, okay, so you uh, you can enter enter ones and twos to fill a purple hex. Gray boxes need threes and fours. Blues need fives and sixes. Right? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so you're also going to find uh, the amount of victory points that you will receive if you are first or second to mark all hexes of that color. Since we are going to be playing with the people on the stream, uh, you should let us know as soon as possible with... If you have finished everything in a color. Yeah. So, um, the duchy consists of 37 hexes. Um, for duchy A, there are three riverbeds uh, of two blue hexes each. Two mines of two gray hexes each. Four cities that are placed like so. Um, four monasteries. Four castles and four pastures. Uh, up in the top right... Um, you can mark the game progress along with us, though only one person really needs to keep track of it. The timekeeper over here. That's you. That That's me? Oh, you're, okay, you're I'll do it. You're the owner of the game. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah this is my game. Um, when the hourglass die is rolled, there are five dice. One of them is this cool little hourglass die. Is, uh, whenever uh, I roll an hourglass, I'm going to mark off one of those. When I, mark, when I do a double hourglass, I'm going to mark off two of those boxes. Um, when a column is complete, that phase in the game ends after three phases. Um, this is the amount of victory points you will receive whenever you complete a colored area consisting of one, two, three, or four hexes. The quicker you do it, the more victory points you're going to get. Um, so if you do uh, a four section in phase one, you'll get 13 points. In phase two, you'll get 10. In phase three, you'll get seven. Ooh. All right, in the bottom right corner, you're going to use... Uh, those columns to add up each phase's victory points. Um, they're spaced to enter the three subtotals and a big star for the final result right here. You get to put your whatever the final result is. Um, and there's where the duchy's letter is. If your duchy does not have an A right here, hey, hey thanks for rating. Game freaky girl. Thank you, thank you, woo. We are playing Castles of Burgundy, the dice game. If you'd like to join along, just download a sheet, and uh, we're explaining the rules We're right just now. now starting to explain the rules. So we've explained what the sheet does. Hopefully, you guys know how to play. Um, the bottom center will show what you get for checking off a bonus. For example, by selling a commodity, which are which is the blue ones, you will receive one gray, one silver, which is a gray circle, plus two victory points. Marking off a blue... Getting a gray and two victory points over here. I'm, I will probably explain those in a bit. All right. Off with that. So, um, take your page. Um, before you start your, the game, each player must mark off one of their castles. Notice each of the castles has a different starting bonus. One of them has a little blue bonus. One of them has a little worker bonus, orange worker bonus. One of them has a silver... Uh, what is that, a mine bonus, and one of them has a little purple monk bonus. Um, marking off the f uh, final hex of a colored area will grant you victory points, so your first victory point for the starting castle, hey, we already have that entered for you, ta-da, right here. So Good this point. already has whatever you start with already taken into account. You don't have to say, hey, I filled a one area because everyone's going to get that. Oh, we got a lot of cool air horn, air horn noises. <laughs> so, I don't have any air horns. Wah, wah. So, um, 
like I said, we're going to have three phases. Uh, I'm going to roll these dice. I'm going to mark off these hourglasses. And then everyone is going to use the remaining four dice. Let's say, well, let me change this from blue. Just, I mean, from green, just so you can see it a little better. Um, we've got a yellow and a purple here. It sort of looks blue, unfortunately. Uh, That's purple? There's a purple. And mm -hmm. here's a blue. Okay. So, yeah. If... if if it looks dark, it's purple. If it looks bright, it's blue. So, well, let's say I rolled this purple and blue. You could take a purple one, a purple six, a blue one, or a blue six. Hey, those are your four options. Um, so, one combination of exactly one pip die and one color die. Uh, to mark exactly one additional hex uh, in your duchy by... Entering the rolled pip value to mark exactly uh, da, 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 da. and mar it just says marks the hex in their duchy. Um, it must always be next to a hex that has already been marked. So wherever your starting castle is, it's probably pretty important because that's where you're going to start out from and where you're going to branch out from. Like, um, like but the, burgundy, like burgundy, you guys know how burgundy goes. If you cannot build a useful combination, well, womp womp. You get to mark one of your little workers over here and use it on a future turn. Um, when you when you mark them uh, for being available, you circle them, and when you use them, shh, just cross them off. Oh, what else we got? Um, once everyone has marked their hex, we're going to roll off five dice, and we're going to do it again. Um, second and third phase, lather, rinse, repeat, uh, and then we determine a winner. Oh, but what do these do? So... If you mark a monast, if you want to mark a monastery hex, those are purple. Um, you need a, a color die showing purple plus a pip die with a one or a two. If that combination was rolled, you're going to put a one or a two, whichever one you rolled or I rolled, in the small square space of that monastery hex. If it was the final hex of a monastery area, you are going to get the bonus. So you are going to draw a circle around one of the purple monk circles in the top left. Additionally, you're going to get that many victory points in the bottom right corner based on how big your purple area is. The reason there are four things up here at the top is because there are four discrete purple areas. A two set, a two set, and a pair of one set. Uh, no, three two sets and a one set, I guess. Yep. Almost missed it there. All right, mine and river hexes. They are blue and uh, gray. Those are marked in the same way. For mines, you need a gray three or four. For rivers, you need a blue five or six. The bonuses for a complete mine. Now, notice you don't get it for one mine or one river. You get it for a complete area. Right. You get the bonus when you complete the area. Exactly. Plus the points bonus. So, the bonus for a complete mine are the corresponding amount of victory points plus a silver or plus a commodity. So, you get your normal scoring Plus, you get to mark off a, a silver or a commodity. Um, a city hex. Those are orange. To mark a city hex, you need an orange plus any number. However, any subsequent number has to be different from the numbers already in that city area. Hey, remember in Burgundy where you can't have two banks in a, in a contiguous city area? That's pretty much what this is as well. If you already put an orange one, you can't have another one in that orange region. You could have a one in another orange region, just not that one. For a completed city, you're gonna get that many victory points plus a worker, an orange circle. Um, the castle hex, green and any number, but that number must already have been marched, marked in an adjacent hex of that castle. So if I have a four right here, this can be, marked off if I rolled a green and a four. Hopefully I've got lots of different numbers all around this green castle to give myself lots of options. options. Hey, generic username. Generic username hey. has subscribed with Prime. Thank you for subscribing, welcome. So yeah, uh, if you guys, uh, I remember generic username, they won one of our contests. They did, I remember With a generic that. username, yeah. yeah. So if you, uh, if, yeah, if you uh, have not subscribed and you want to subscribe, but it, even if you're low on cash, remember you, if you are an Amazon Prime subscriber, you can always subscribe for free yeah. to one of your favorite Twitch streamers. Uh, doesn't have to be us, but we would love it if you would. Um, 
And uh, Amazon uh, owns Twitch, so that's how they're able to supply this to you. Just link your Amazon and Twitch accounts together. It's easy to do on PC. I don't think it's even possible to do on mobile, but it's really easy to do on PC. And then um, go like you're going to buy a subscription. Don't worry, it's not gonna charge you. It will open up options, and one of those options on, on there will be for a free subscription. You have to redo it every month because you get a free subscription every month. Every month. So, you know, go to 12 different uh, Twitch uh, streamers in a year if you want, or just go to your favorite. So, well, anyway. Thank you for that. Um, so, with the Castle Hex, green and any number, like I say, the bonus is a victory point. Obviously, one victory point because it's, it's a, a one, one space area. Yeah. Uh, plus, either a monk, a silver, or a commodity, or a worker, depending on what that bonus is. Yeah. So the one that you choose as your start is going to change the bonus that you start out with. A pasture hex. Hey, those are those little yellowish, light green, whatever you want to call them, areas that's got those little critters in it. To mark a pasture hex, you need to roll a yellow plus any number. However, all the numbers in that pasture area has to be the same number. So... Um, if I put a four here, this also has to be a four, but this could be something completely different. Different area, yeah. Uh, when uh, you finish, oh, the bonus for completing a pasture area is doubling the amount of victory points. Um, see, uh, example, the final area of a pasture X victory points times two. I just guess the victory points for that size area. Yeah, I suppose it's going to be going to be eight points then. So you can use up to, uh, yeah, for this duchy, yeah. Yeah. Four doubled is eight. Eight. Sure. Um, so how do you use bonuses? You can use up to one bonus a turn. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can, uh, during a complete round, um, <coughs> meaning up to two different die combinations, never more. Um, so, how do you use a monk? That's the little purple dude up top. You use him by checking off one of those purple monks, and it lets you change the color of a die to any other thing. So, if I roll something like that, you might want to change one of those purples to something more usable. Yeah. Um, so, for silver, by checking off a silver that you've circled, you could use a different die combination to mark a second hex during the same turn. You can't use the same two dice. You must use at least one other die. So let's say you've got this uh, one six purple blue. Uh, you could take the purple and the one, and then for your second one, you can't do another purple and a one, but you could do maybe a purple and a six, or a blue and a one, or the blue and the six, something altogether different. So, so the silver. Si the silver gets you an extra turn. Mm, you have to use the dice that are there. You can't use the same combination of dice. You use a second combination of whatever got rolled. So let's say you did the purple and the one. Mm -hmm. The second thing you do has to use these dice, but it can't be purple one. It could be purple six. It okay. could be blue okay. one. It could be blue six. All right, how about the commodity? If the owner rolls a double hourglass at the beginning of a round, each player may sell all their circle blue spaces. For each one that you check off, you're going to gain one silver plus two victory points. Mm -hmm. um, selling commodities does not count as using a bonus. This is the only time that it's not counted as a bonus. Um... So, that's for each checked off commodity, you gain one silver plus two victory points. Um, so, you probably want to sell all of them that you have, I would guess. Because it doesn't give you anything extra to hold on to them like it does in Burgundy. Yeah, agreed. Worker, those work similar to monks. By checking off a worker, instead of changing the color, you can change the pip value to anything you like. So, monks for color and uh, workers for pip values change. When a player marks off the final uh, hex of a color, like the fourth gray hex or the sixth blue hex, you announce it publicly at the end of the current round, you're gonna get extra victory points um, for uh, that. Here they are, let's see. Here is for green and yellow. Here is for purple and gray. 
Here is for blue and orange. Everyone who marks them off first will get the top number. Um, is it everyone after that or just the second place? Nope, it's second place. Okay. Um, after second place has been taken, nobody else will get any points for that so color. So yeah, if you anymore. do this, make sure to tell us. Um... And I will, I will say what round we are in. So uh, yeah. I'll say how many things have been checked off, and you can say, "Hey, Michael, seven things are checked off, and I got all the greens." Yeah. Or something like that. The game will end in phase three after the final round of dice rolling. Each player adds everything up, and that's going to be it. So, um, a few things. We will roll the dice on the uh, overhead, but and we'll tell you what it's rolled. Because check the floor for pieces. <laughs> uh, because I know the colors are kind of hard to see. Yeah, with, some, with, the, with the gray, I mean with the green, the light green stuff, we have a green screen. So when things that are green are put up there, it will just, it'll make them see through. Sort of like, sort of like all the green on this box. You yeah. can sort of see through it. Look, there's Steph. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Can you show the purple and gray together? Uh, yep, right there. <laughs> And the blue is right here. Blue is really easy. Blue is really easy. Blue, the purple and gray. And probably green, like green. You probably won't be able to well, tell. Well, let's find out. Here is, where, there's the green. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I thought it was gray. It's too gray. I thought, I thought it was gray because I thought looking at the, the gray one looks right through the table uh, as a green, you know? It, it. Well, that's a green that's not really seeing through the table. No, I know, but what I'm saying is it could be confused. We we will we will tell you exactly. We what will it tell is. you. <laughs> wow. No, you you did not catch color blindness from someone. <laughs> All right, so here we go. All right, I'm gonna roll these out. All right, there's only one. Oh wait, no, time out. Da, 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 da. Pull them out. Roll them on the uh, no, because it's too small and it'll fall off the table like it just did a little bit ago. And I want to try to minimize that. I'll place them up there. Everyone's got to select your starting castle first and your starting bonus. So let's do that. Yeah, I already, I already checked you off You did mine, that and so. no, nobody else did it. I'm going to make this go down. You're going to make what? Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Let's make it a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. Not that it's really going to matter, but. <laughs> yeah, I never can't know. see these p pencil marks. Yeah, I had grabbed a pen. Yeah, give me a pen. I can't. I can't see because I'm getting old. Really? It should work. Nope. It does. Nope. Takes a minute to get to started, like me in the morning. All right, I circled mine. What'd you take? I took purple. What'd everybody else take? I took worker. Yeah, mine is monk. Monk. Shrey's right. Shrey says, wait, everyone needs to, needs to <laughs> check off a castle. Yes. Shrey took silver. Nice. Silver. Silver. We all took different castles. That's good. Is Derek playing? Who else is playing? I think Derek might be. He had to print. <laughs> he had to stop the stream. Hold the stream. Hold the stream so he can print. Don't cross the streams. <laughs> I don't know if Time Roller's playing. I don't know if... Are we having fun storming the castle? We don't know yet. It would take a miracle. Need a miracle. All right. All right. Sorry I was cooking. Is, there, is everybody ready? You can play with us, Time Roller, if you want. But he might still be cooking. So. Might still be cooking. Yeah, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, <laughs> I see what you did there. All right, there's my roll. Looks like green and orange, one and three. Just in case you guys need to see it. That's green. That's green, <laughs> not gray. Green and orange. Should I, should I put a little thing up here? 
There you go. There's a green, green note. <laughs> Green is for castle. Green is for? It's for farms. Yes, green is for farms. Um, Where's the thing? The, the green you can't no. see is for the farms. Where is it? Green and any numbers for castle. No, pasture is yellow. I thought that was No. Yellow. Oh, it's green. Don't listen to her. Don't listen to me. Pasture hexes are for yellow dice. Green is for castles. Oh, God. And you are not next to any castles. If you are, you're cheating. I can't do anything, so I get a, a worker. That's yes, good. you get a worker. I get a pity worker. Looks like I get a city. I get a pity worker. A pity worker. Now, you can use... You uh, You don't have to use the them the way I've got them laid out here. You can use any combination of one set of... One color and one pip. However you want it. So... Yeah, you could put Castle Green on there if you want. I just don't the, need the color. I'm not putting the one for orange. I'm just marking the difference between green and gray if we need it. So that's what that's for. It's not for Castle or anything. Okay. They should. You should be able to see on the side here what the colors are. On um, look, is it not clear to everybody on the side here? Purple, gray, blue. Orange, green, and yellow. Okay. Shrey gets a city and a worker. Whoa. A city and a worker? La di da. Whatever. Wow. I just get a city. I don't get the worker. I get nothing. Your worker is so pity. <laughs> it was easier to see the colors on the table, not on the green screen. That is, it's probably true. However, I I didn't want to, I mean, it, it might be small on mobile devices. So, trying to help out the people with the small screens. All right, we're going to roll again. This is round number two. Not everybody has a 70 inch TV. All right, Let's I have two hourglasses. So that sell is the all your goods. <laughs> if if you have goods to sell, sell them now or don't. All right. So, we've got a purple and a green. A 1 and a 6. Wow, that is really fortunate for me. Because I have marked a we castle. We have a green, a purple, a 1 and a 6. Um now, remember, whenever you place in a section, you don't get the bonus until the, the area is fully complete. Correct. You don't get the bonus until it's completed. You mean like my completed sit, my completed castle I just made? Whatever. Oh, she just whatevered me. Yep. Wow. You get to make sure you circle them. Oh, oh, mark these down here. Don't mark these up there. Nope. Well, crap nuggets. Give me a new one. You, I'll, got, you I'll, got the box. I'll try to, I'll try to, I'll, I'll just remember. Uh-huh. Just call out the dice. Green, purple, one, six. Three X's have been taken off of the uh, timesheet. So if for some weird reason you were to finish something that is impossible to finish, this is round 1.3, I guess we can call it. Because there are 10 in each, 10 hourglass things in each round. Mm -hmm. So this is 1.3. I got a second castle because I have this castle and then this worker and then this castle. So that is my second castle. Yeah, Shrey, you went off into like the northern part. and But you could have gone southern into the orange region. No, I started, yeah, I started in the purple region. Yeah, All right, know. we're finishing up round 1.3. This is either 1.4 or 1.5. Let's see how it goes. Oh, it's another double. Dang. This game goes fast when you roll doubles. This game goes fast. It looks like blue-orange, 1.5. Blue-orange, 1.5. I have to do blue, I suppose. Well, blue is good for a 5, isn't it? Are you ever going to roll yellow? Like, what? Mm. 
Blue Orange one five. Blue Orange. That's a game company. Blue Orange one five. <laughs> Yeah, I started in the lame zone. Lame zone. Is that hurting you? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're rolling again. After after round one point five, we are gonna go to one six or one seven. Looks like we're going to one six. Because I rolled a single hourglass. We have double gray three five. At least you can place that. Double gray, three, five. I cannot place that, but I can use a monk. Yeah, use a monk. I'm using the monk. Use the monk. And that is an orange region complete for me. Complete. For eight yeah. points. That's ridiculous. And I get my worker for that. Me, 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 me. No, me, 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 you, me. me. Gray, gray, three, five. Gray, gray, three, five. Now, you're, these don't have to be the same numbers. They must not be the same numbers. No, but I mean like in the purple region, I could put a two and a one in the same region. Or sure. I could put two ones. Okay. Sure. It has to be a two or a one, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't be anything else. Must be nice to have points. Oh, that's what those are. Those I, don't, are I don't know what that's like. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Time for the pity party, right? Really? All right. One more hourglass. So this is round one, seven. And another gray, gray, I have to, two, six. I have to use a worker to change the number. Um, I am going to have to... Oh, uh, 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 oh I don't have any gray around. I am going to have to work her that. I get four points for my troubles. Wow, I get a pity worker. Oh, you get a pity worker. Gray, gray, two, six. I completed my gray region. Did you? Yeah. Wow, that's a silver. I did, I got it. I'm not using it this round because it's really No, it's really bad right now. I want. It's really bad right now. All right, that was the end of 1-7. Gray, gray, 2-6, I believe it was. Oh, it's oh. different colors now. A single hourglass, so we're advancing to 1-8. It's purple-green. Let me pull out my green marker. 1-2. Certainly you can use that. Purple-green, 1-2. Well, I'd better take purple up here to give myself some options with gray. Purple, green, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Please be checked. One, two. <laughs> I completed that. One completed what is that? This. Oh, another castle. That's good. Oh, you have points now. What? I have a couple points. I'm getting wow. There. All right, purple, green, one, two. Coming off the board. Rolling again, getting near the end of phase one. Rolled one hourglass, so we will have one more round after this. This is one nine. Another purple green, two three. That's not good. That's very two three. Two three. No. Oh yes. Whoops, I should only have one monk there. Two, three. Oh, I can't even... Oh. I'm going to mess myself up if I continue with this. I've already almost messed myself up twice. I had to use a monk for this to get a different color. Ouch. You never roll yellow. 
the heck? Is yellow even uh, on the die? Yes. Are you sure? Six, seven. I'm in the middle of something right now. I'll get back to you in just a second. He doesn't, he doesn't roll yellow because he knows I want Oh, uh, There's a yellow right here and a yellow right here. Yeah, well, that would be nice. But no, that didn't happen. Uh, no. All right. Now, what if I roll a double on this last one? Does it carry over or not? I thought it did, but it's been, um, again, it's been like three years since I played. Uh, bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Trey says it does in not. The, in the yeah. current phases time column. So I'm assuming just the current phase. So it doesn't matter what I roll other than Selling commodities. So here we go. Rolling for the last roll on round one. It is not. It is not a double. And it's blue, blue, one, two. But blue can only but take blue. five and six. So. Well, and you better use a worker for it then, huh? I wish I could. Can't. Uh, I had two workers. So that right? means I get a worker for my troubles. I don't have a worker to use. All right, so I'm using this worker. Blues can take fives and sixes, huh? Blue, blue, one, two. All right, that's the end of phase one. I have six points. Whee. I have 14 points. They give you two columns in case you get lots of points in the first round, but really. But really, no. No. All right. My board. A lame. I'm halfway through the blue. Trey's got 11 points. Trey's at 11. Dang it, Trey. Yeah. Oh, page six italic says it doesn't carry over. That's good to know. Oh, good. We, I assumed it did not, but I'm glad to have confirmation on that. All right, here it goes for round uh, phase number two. Looks like it's just me, you, and Shrey. Only one hourglass rolled. Looks like we have another purple green. I'm she's hating me right now. Four or five. Yeah, that's incredibly bad. Green, purple, four or five. Yeah, because I mean, I guess I can do it using a worker which is green bad. purple four five am i gonna have to do another worker i mean really i mean it stinks or a monk to change the color i think a monk to change the color might be even better yeah if i had a monk i would do it hey how about i'm gonna use a monk monkey see monkey do for this five and that makes a blue section of Ooh. three points and I get a commodity, and I can sell a commodity maybe in a minute for two points and a rock. Two points, baby, now it's and two a rock. points and a rock. All right, that was purple, green, four, five. Really bad. All right, rolling again, and look, that's one yeah, hourglass yellow. again. <gasps> That's what a yellow looks like. A yellow wow. orange. Whoops. Yellow orange. Do I do it? Four or five. It's a question. Do I do it? Yellow orange four or five. Do I care? Do you care? Or do I do something else? Yellow orange four. That's just not great. I'm going to do that instead. Oh, that was one timer. If you finish... Oh, if you finish the yellow, it's double the victory points. You got to circle your castle bonuses, Trey. They're really important. Yeah, the castle bonuses are the ones that you use, that you need to use to like mark stuff off. You know what? No, because they have to be the same... Aminals need to be, all be the same. The orange needs to all be different. You know what? I think I may use my rock at this time. 
It might be a mistake, but I'm gonna use my rock. All right, yellow orange four or five is gone. And we're gonna roll what is either two, three or two, four. It's two, three, a single hourglass. And another yellow orange, one, four. Yellow orange, one, four. It's fine, I can take it. I can take it. We're not gonna take it. No, we ain't gonna take it. Yellow, orange, one, four. Yay, spammers, idiots. I got a spammer on my, uh, on my streaming channel for Far Cry. And um, my son Brandon said, bot, lol. <laughs> Yellow, orange, one, four. You guys probably know what you're going to do with that if you're going to do anything with it at all. And time to roll again. Looks like another single hourglass, so I'm marking box 2.4. It is yellow, uh, excuse me, sorry, orange, blue, 1, 4. I believe that's blue, orange. Oh, blue, orange, 1, 4. Blue, orange, 1, 4. Yay, I completed a region. Woo! I am completing... Mmm... I'm going to complete this little region right here for one point. One whole point. One whole point. One whole point. But that gives me a worker. Hmm. All right, blue, orange, one, four. Going once, going twice. Rolling again. How about oh, purple? How oh, about no, a... That's gray. Wait, wait. Oh. Steph. What? Double hourglass. Oh, double that hourglass. That means it's 2.6. I'll mark boxes 2.5 and 2.6. If you want to sell, sell it now for two victory points and a rock. Yeah, I got I want it. Why wouldn't you, though? Purple gray. I don't know. Maybe you don't have it. Purple gray, one, two. Purple, gray, one, two, one, two. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like I'm taking a monk. Me too. And an area. Purple, gray, one, two. Purple, gray, one, two. What? Why are you looking at me? You look like a man. I look like a man. Purple gray one two, zoop, zoop. Rolling again. Single hourglass. So box two seven marks off. Purple blue. One four. No. No. Purple blue one four. It ain't great. That was bad. I mean, I can I can use it, but stop rolling one four. It ain't, it ain't great. It'd be great if it was yellow and he kept rolling one four. All right. I'm taking the spots off of them and I roll them. Purple, orange. I uh, only marked off one box, so box 2-8 disappears. Purple-orange, 3-4. That works for me. I make a big, huge four region of workers. Ooh, I already did that one. Well, I did it just now. Aren't you special? Yes, I am. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take the other orange with my rock and that is going to complete my orange set for six victory points oh really wow yes he completed the oranges all as oranges. of two as of two eight i've completed wow. all the orange ones 
And I'm not wearing pants. Stop rolling one four, Shrey says. <laughs> pants? Pants? Oh, I can use my gold nugget. Pants? To That's a silver nugget. Are you colorblind? To do a one? Yeah, a one purple. Oh. Isn't there a one up there? No, it's a three four. Oh, dang. So, no. Uh, well. uh, you I can use a... Well, no, you can use one bonus, so... You I can't guess, use a I worker. Just do it. You, oh, I can't. All right. Oh. <laughs> you I are know. ruining your sheet. That's because, fine. no, you can't do that. It's fine. I'll just... Not, I'll, You'll back it up somehow. Yeah, it's fine. Just roll a purple. All right, that's a double hourglass. So, this is the last one in the round. And we have a green... Yellow, four, five. Green, yellow, four, five. Seems good. I like it. All right, everybody add up your points for that section. And I'm at 25 for that section. Hey, Barry. Barry. I guess I should put green over here. Okay. All right, everybody add up your points for that section. Wow, you got 20, Steph. You weren't going to want to tell anybody. 20? Yeah, you got 20 points for that section. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. I'll move my sheet into view. Shrey got 17 for that section. All right, going on to round number three. Bloop. Looks like a single hourglass. Um, purple, gray. Which is already not great. Three six. Blech. All right. That should be my third month. My board is officially caught up to itself. <laughs> Purple, gray, three, six. Oh, oh. Scooping? Scoop. Thank you. Oh, he had 18 instead. All right, that's box number three, two marked off. It was only a single hourglass. We have a yellow, green, three, four. No. Oh, yes. And guys, I hate to tell you, but that's going to finish my castles. Whatever. I finished mines. Mines? Yeah. <laughs> they're called mines. Oh, you finished your mines? Yeah. Shrey finished castles also. Oh, good going. Whatever. Fantastic. Y'all are just so great. So, Shrey and I get three. One is still available. I believe. I would think so. But... Yeah, I'm fairly sure that... Uh... I'm not sure where it is. All right, picking them up. Looks like a single hourglass again. Come on, give me another double hourglass. Blue, purple, three, four. No. Yeah, it's not great. Use a worker to change that, dude. Yikes. 
Oh, Chad got the new version of Fiasco. I'm still stuck on the old version. And I haven't played since the Pants Adventure. Mm, pants. Pants? He said pants. That's why he said pants, because that's and that's what reminded him of that's what reminded us both of Fiasco. We played Fiasco at uh, Tennessee Game Days, I think it was. Mm. Or maybe it's BGG. Alright. Rolling. Um, I believe that was three three. Was that correct, Steph? This is three four. Yellow gray. We haven't had that combo before. Yellow gray three four. No, no. Well, I can't use that. I mean, I guess I can use the yellow okay. and take two points for it. Ah, uh, Shrey finished the orange areas for three points since I have already gotten the orange areas. So now the three points is now that orange is unavailable to anyone else. Yeah, me. Like Steph. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Did somebody finish purples yet or no? Um, not yet. Oh, okay. Are you about to? No. Are you? Yeah. No. Yeah, it's gonna happen as soon as I roll a one or a purple. Like right now. Probably. Blue, yellow, one, two. Only a single hourglass. Blue, yellow, one, two. Uh, and yeah, I'm definitely going to monk this to um, finish the purple area. The Finish all the purples. So that's a two for that. And a four for that. Answer so 2019. <laughs> <laughs> True story. <clears throat> True story. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to get any more bonuses at all. All right. <clears throat> Blue, yellow, one, two, gone. Looks like we have green, orange. Two. Neither of which I can use. Oh, we have double hourglass. Sell them if you want them. That's marking boxes six and seven. And we have green, orange, one, one. Which means I am probably going to have to take a... No, I can, I can monk it. I can monk it and take a one. I completed castles as a second person too. <laughs> second person. Oh, that's right. I've got to actually mark a rock and two victory points because I'm selling this commodity. Woohoo! Glad you got your game, Bryant. That's awesome. Which one did you win again? I forget. <laughs> we gave away four games that night. All right, that was box number eight marked off. It was a single hourglass. It's a orange gray. One, two again. Monk it. One. Just getting so little points right now. Yeah, just nickel and diming stuff. Orange gray, one, two. We've got either one or two more rounds left. Mm. One or two. Oh, uh, looks like one round because I rolled a double hourglass and you, we end up with orange gray, two, three. Use your nuggets while you can. Use your nuggets while you... Do you get bonuses for dead nuggets? I don't know. I'm looking. Um, I don't think so. So...
uh, using my nuggets not going to help me out any, I don't think. Or will it? So let's see. I can do a gray three, clearly. Yikes. That is not a good score. Yeah, if I use it, I've got to do a gray two. And I can't use a worker because I will have already used a nugget. So I really can't do anything with that. I see the rule. Yep, that's not going to help me any. I got 20 for the third round. Uh, Shrey said he finished mines. I have not finished mines. I think Steph did. No, you said you finished mines before, didn't you? No, Sh Steph, you said you finished mines, I right? already, I finished the Steph mines has finished, ago. yeah. So, Shrey gets second place for mines. Oh, Brian got Hello Neighbor. Hello Neighbor. All right, nothing oh. left but adding up the uh, adding up the totals. Not great. All right, there's mine. What you get? You answered everything. Forty-two. Super loser. I don't know why you wouldn't be able. Why the rule is that you can't use multiple bonuses? I mean, you're still limited to how many bonuses you can yes, get. Yes, I agree. You should be able to use them as much as you want. Please me used up to one bonus during one complete round up to two different die combinations, never more. Yeah, right. And then This, this rule makes sure that you cannot change both a color and a pip in the same round. But you also why? won't be able to mark a second X if you need to change a die up for doing so or if you already used a bonus in your first turn. So, yeah. I don't see why that's so know. bad. 42, 49, 59. Nailed it. Nailed it. Bragging rights to Michael Boo. <laughs> <laughs> you hate it when I claim bragging rights. I do. Because ill deserved. Oh, wait. Did, did Shrey forget his circle points? Did you I put forget the your circle I put points? the circle points down in the thing when I did them. Oh, yeah. I did not. Uh, so this is Castles of... No, Battles. Let's try this again. Castles of... Uh, when you cross off a commodity... Y yes. Yeah, you get two points every time you cross off a commodity. Yeah. Select players. I need to add straight. Uh, yeah, you're right. I might actually have two extra points because I think I forgot to do it once. I definitely did for one. Shrey. I did not do it for the second time though so i should have 44 i'm fairly sure that is his correct but spelling. it's still the loser score so it doesn't really matter is that his last name where are you shrey yeah i thought so um so yeah i, I actually got 44 points mark it all right i was 59 <laughs> Steph was 44. Shrey was 40. 53. Shrey was 53. Yeah. Closer than y'all thought you were. He forgot some commodities. Yeah, I forgot one commodity. I'm on a good roll. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Yep. Yep. Such a bragger. No, I just said I'm on a roll. I like it. It's fine. It's fine. It's not my favorite rolling, right? But it works. You want me to keep that in the box? I think using <laughs> no. I think no. using multiple abilities would be fine. You'll have like you could possibly have a really great round. Yeah. But like then they're used. But then the bonuses are used. So I don't see why it's like so broken, but I guess I haven't played it enough to really know. So I don't know about that. I think I do like the Castle Burgundy card game a little bit more than this. I think so too. So it would go but, Burgundy, Tuscany. But this worked card well. Dice. You could play with people on the stream, or whatever. Yeah, and that's why we wanted we wanted to have fun with you guys. What's your favorite rolling right? 
Um, oh my goodness. You are the queen of rolling rights. I do really like rolling rights. I would still say probably rolling Japan. It's been it's been one of my absolute favorites. I would probably say cartographers. I love cartographers. I do really love cartographers. I love fleet dice oh, game. Oh, generic username know. didn't ask me. It just asked you. Yeah, it was just comma staff. <laughs> Silence a host. <laughs> I don't know. I like. I. I mean, I generally like rolling rights. Whenever they're put in front of me, I'm like, yeah, more rolling rights. I love quicks. I love the many versions of quicks. I love doppelt. So clever. So like back in the day when like we used to actually go to conventions and go out to eat in like real restaurants and we would be waiting on the food, we would play quicks on mobile app and it works wonderfully yeah quicks on, quicks on the apps quicks on the apps and uh yeah cartographers also like dizzle and that's so clever oh, yeah love i love that's so clever and uh double clever and yeah and uh, those are those are great i really love them. um dizzle's okay dizzle's okay dizzle's just drafting okay for me. drafting dice Oh, yeah, you really need to try cartographers. I like the Welcome to series. Um, I don't know. There's just so many. I have a box of rolling rights that I'd be happy to play any game in there, really. There's a lot of, like, variety of different types of rollers. I love Avenue. I love, love, love Avenue. So. Yeah, you got Avenue in there. Really like Avenue. If you haven't heard about it, Raja's Dice. Go play it. We've been playing that on Yukata, so that's been really great. You haven't played it yet. You'll, nope. li you'll like that one. Better hope so. <laughs> and if not, you don't. I wanted to like Raja's. I don't like. I, definitely, I didn't like I definitely Raja's. like the dice game better than the board game. Uh, Troy's I mean, dice it's not I that I don't played. like Raja's. I just. It's fine. It's. It's a race. I'm not a big on race. It's yeah, it's fine. It's get this generic victory point and this generic victory point to meet, and boom, that's oh, it. Oh, I should end this. Do we have anything else to say about dice? Oh hey, this is a very needed dice game. <laughs> Place from one to five players, or uh, whoever you can find on the stream. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> we'll be right back.